Hi, this is Warren Buffeitner. Today I'm looking at Monster Mingle, an open-ended experience where you can't go wrong. So you get the idea of this app. There are no instructions. You basically touch the screen and something happens right. Then you drag the different elements onto your blob, which becomes incorporated into your monster. When you add a, a mouth that can talk, different legs affect what it can do. And so I've got my squid legs, which is going to take me under the water. Now one of the things that you notice is that there are other creatures, and those creatures interact with your monster in a very sort of ambient way. They, there's no direct interaction, but if you touch them, they will make a, a noise. And you can uh, exchange your legs with some wings, or in this case some fins, so you can swim around. I, re I particularly like those little eyeball fish. And that's really the, the best part of this app, is the, the, di the different kinds of creative animated uh, parts that are floating around. There, there are 40 total. And you see that there are some things you can't do. So this monster can't fly, but when I tap on these little bubbles, I can exchange the, the parts and put some wings on. This is a little bit like a, a digital Mr. Potato Head. There's a couple of minor limitations of this app. One is that you run into a wall that you can't Hi. see. You just get that little X. And so it'd be nice if this was like a Sago uh, app where it's endlessly scrolling. Uh, pretty minor gripe. Um, the other thing is that the, bu the bubbles and the parts are sometimes hard to find and they're a different scale. So um, it is a bit of just experimentation and trial and error. Whenever I get an app like this, I like to see what real kids have to say about it. So I took it over to MediaTek where I asked if any kids would like to try a new app. and. Uh, one boy, age 10, gave it a try. Wait, is that life? What a dodge! That's his life! Oh, I guess all the noise you hear in the background is about eight kids playing Super Smash Brothers, so oh, excuse the sound kidding. here. And one of the things w that we found by all the kids who tried this was that this app really did work in just giving this success, this successful first experience. And the Monsters are just weird enough to keep kids interested. So you see here that these, these claws make this monster particularly well suited to be underwater. And whenever you want to get back up to the uh, world up top, you just find one of these geishers and that'll blast you into the air. I have to think of Will Wright had made more elements like this in his game Spore that it might be around today. It's really great to see an experience like this that's flipped upside down. Instead of all these ideas and beautiful illustrations being pushed at a kid in, an, in a canned narrative, it lets children build their own. What do you think about these monsters? Uh, I guess they're pretty weird. Yeah. Would you buy this app? Mm -hmm. Should we have it on MediaTek's iPad? Yeah. <laughs>